Bless you, saints. It's amazing what God can do with someone who makes themselves available to God. Welcome to tonight's Spirit of Community Conversation. I was sharing with someone, one of my friends this week, and it was just interesting that many times we as believers, we have a desire to be used of God, to do things for God. But what I find that we do in many cases is that we try to plan the plan of God. Let me say that again for you, children of God. Many times we have desires to want to do things for the Lord, teach, minister, serve, start business, whichever thing come to our mind. But we rely more on our ability to plan and to see the end before we begin. And that is certainly going to cause us to be hindered in walking after the ways of God. Because God knows the ending before the beginning. So let's talk a little bit about how to walk in our purpose and destiny as relate to the things of God. Now, if you're familiar with my ministry, you know that I love the teaching aspect of ministry, which is to help others to understand. And so I want you to take time to look up the words purpose and look up the word destiny so if you're going to talk about walking in purpose and destiny we need to at least have an idea about what that means and so i want you to make note of those two words again the first word is purpose and the second word is destiny now i'm So here we see the word purpose as defined as the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. Again, purpose, the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. Now, I want you to think about it in the context of not as something, but as someone. The reason for which someone, and that someone being you, the reason for which you were created and for which you exist is the why God created you and what did God create you for? The answer to that question is your purpose. Now let's look up the word destiny. Um, Take time to look it up and make notes if you like to. Now for destiny, we're going to use this as a definition for the word destiny. It's very important again, as I stress with you, to understand the meaning of the words that we use. Oftentimes I hear people talk about walking and In my purpose and destiny, I want to live and walk and to fulfill my purpose and destiny in God. And I I suspect that many people don't really understand what that means. So we look at the word purpose. Here is a definition for the word destiny. All right. There are two different definitions here. And I'm going to give you the one that I want to emphasize for this teaching. Now, destiny is defined as the events which will necessarily happen to a particular person or thing in the future. Another one says the hidden power believed to control what will happen in the future or fate. Now for the context of our teaching today, we do that purpose is the reason why you exist and the reason why God created you. And destiny is the events that will happen in your life in the future that's your destiny it is a hidden power now we know the power is not hidden for we know the power is the power of the holy spirit or the power of god so we know that god has the power to control what will happen in our future because he controls our destiny i think about 
the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 says, For God says, I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. In other words, God says, I know the purpose and I know the destiny. By saying that, I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, to give you future hope and good success. And here we are with the word destiny. It talks about things that will happen in our future. We see that the power is the power of God or the knowledge of God. And in some cases, the will of God that causes us to walk in the future that God has already planned for us. Hallelujah. So hopefully these two definitions will help you as you focus in and key in on what it means to walk in your purpose and to walk in your destiny. Father, I pray now that as each and every one of us submit our minds, our hearts to you, open up our spirit and our soul to you now to be taught and led by your Holy Spirit. Let us not have to see the ending before we begin. I ask that you will order our steps according to your word. Lead us and guide us into the ways that you've already prepared for us. For we know that you have already defined the reason that we were created and what we were created for. And you have already determined what will happen with our future.